Okay, welcome back everybody. Um, we're picking up back where we left, left off with the um, testimony of um, this guy. I don't remember his name, honestly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's get in there. Get started. I was going door to door, selling subscriptions, when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. Oh, one second. Bit of lag here. Okay, we're back. Hopefully that solves a little bit of our lag problems. Um, if not, it's, it's probably lagging because I have a, uh, video in the background editing, which would be episode one for this Let's Play. So we're picking up. Yes, I was going door to store, selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. Yes. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there. A woman. Not moving, dead. I crawled in fright and found myself unable to go inside. Big word there, mister. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. Likely excuse. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. But her time of death wasn't until four. The man who ran was without a, do without a doubt the defendant sitting right over there. I mean, don't get me wrong. You can't judge the person based off his appearance. But he just looks, the way that they made his character, the way that he looks, the way that he comes off. He seems like he, he's lying. He's too... Nobody would be that cheerful getting up on stand, testifying like that, unless they had something to do with it. Not that I'm saying that he's, he's guilty or whatever, even though we know he is. But, come on. Come on, look at him. Look at him. Okay, here's our judge, doing judgy stuff. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? He did tell the truth. I can't defend you against a testimony like that, but his testimony is flawed as long as you paid it. Okay, Phoenix, you're stupid. Good thing we're taking control. Well, wait, that makes us stupid because we're Phoenix. But no, we're not. We're not. We're smarter than Phoenix. First case, we can solve this. No problem. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Okay. Our no, <laughs> he looks so shocked. He's like, I'm surprised. Shouldn't it work? Doop de derp de doop. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Uh, that's a good question, are they? Hmm. Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function 
normally. The phone that Mr. Shawit used was one of those. Your Honor. They had to really use one more line for that. I have a record of the blackout for your proposal. I bet the blackout's not going to be anywhere near the time that this guy is saying that it is. I guarantee you. Blackout record added to the court record. Thank you, dear sir. Thank you for wasting my fucking time. Now, Mr. Wright. Yes. I love how it pings. I don't know why it pings, but it just goes ding whenever, like, it's just like, here's something obvious. <laughs> you may begin your cross examination. I don't need you to explain what a cross examination is. I know what it is. C cross examination, Your Honor? Yes. That thing you do when you ask questions. <laughs> All right, right. This is it. The real deal. Uh-huh. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why, you exposed the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? I didn't know that there was going to be lies. What? He's lying? Yes. Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really dot 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 guilty? I twitch. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I find these facial expressions to be a little bit hilarious. They're usually they're. I love how the in animes everything's usually a little bit over exaggerated. But yeah, you you get what I'm saying. How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's te testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there somewhere. Oh, in there. Adding extra words. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you found the contradiction, con contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. That's that's a wonderful way to do things. Um, okay. Touch the court record button and point out contradictions in the testimony. Sure thing. Now just leave me alone. Okay, let's go with, I want to go with her autopsy report first. It says she was dead at 4 p.m. Profiles. Uh, back. Go back. Okay. I'm guessing I wasn't supposed to do it right then and there. Okay, cross examination. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, like it's like epic battle. Epic battle time. Dun, 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 dun. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment.
Yeah, what am I doing? Isn't a man living? Oh, okay. I should probably. Uh, <laughs> we don't know all the controls yet. Isn't a man leaving an apartment a common sight? I find it odd you would take notice of him. Er. Uh, I guess it's good we pointed it out. Anyway. <laughs> eh. I don't know. He just seemed strange to me. That's all. Like he was mad. And yet frightened at the same time. Just like a criminal fleeing the scene of a crime. The defense requests that the witness refrain from conjecture. Of course. What the witness means is that the man he saw looks suspicious. So what happened next? Gotta stop pressing buttons when it's not necessary. I thought he must be in a big hurry because he left the door half opened behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Okay. Then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. I crawled in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. Okay, let's go back here. And see what time he found her. Are you sure she was dead? Okay, I feel like this is... I asked a stupid question. <laughs> well... No. I guess I wasn't. But she wasn't moving. She wasn't moving at all. And there was blood everywhere. I guess that would look fatal to anyone. Very well. What happened next? I thought to call the police immediately, blah, blah, blah. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remembered the time exactly. It was 1 o'clock p.m. 
Let's see if we can do percent. And we know that she died. You found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure? Yes. It was 1 p.m. For certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy, autopsy notes the time of death at some time after 4 p.m. There was nobody to... How do you explain this three-hour gap? Yeah, he's, he's feeling he's pretty, pretty intimidated. He's like, ah, oh, uh, this man, he knows me. He knows too much. Too much is known. I hate that he doesn't... He just keeps... I just want to smack him. He keeps doing that. Oh, that. Oh, er... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what? Okay. This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. Yeah, you're sweating too. You know he's lying. After his testimony... I find that hard to believe. Mr. Shawit. Why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? <gasps> I don't know. I, er, uh, well, I, gee. That's a really good question. Okay, let me see if there's something else in here that, okay, that's our pendant. That has nothing to do with the case. Um, can I not, like, get a better look at this? A statue in the shape of the thinker. It's rather heavy, okay. Um, okay. Electricity building was from noon to 6 p.m. Okay, I don't see anything. I don't see anything else. So we'll get out of here. And get back to work. Great job. Great job, White. Right. Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. See through one, and the whole story falls apart. Thank you, lady. Now, stop interrupting me. I got my big boy tie on. Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? Please don't tell me I'm going to have to reread this like 600 times. Because that's not cool. Witness testimony. The time of discovery. Alright. You see, when I found the body, I heard time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television, but the power was out. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. That's why I thought it was one o'clock. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Okay, well, we 
know that the power was out, so that's why. Hmm, I see. You heard a voice saying the time on the taped program. I hope you're not that stupid. Like, you're supposed to be the judge. It... Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Right. You know what to do. Yes! Why are you interrupting me? Stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop interrupting me. <laughs> I think by this point, I probably would have slapped her already. I would have been like, look, you, you talk too much. Just... See, when I found the body, there was a voice saying the time, blah, 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 unimportant, because we already heard this. This this is one part that I don't like. I don't like that he, that, that we have to re, re, read what we already read. Granted, some people aren't paying attention and they're just clicking through. They're just like, click, 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 click. I don't care. But... Um, yeah, we, we read it the first time. We read it the first time. We, we don't need to see it a second time. Can I, oh, wait, boop. Objection. Hold it right there. Right there, right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And the record proves it. I love how he's just like, yeah, you see this? You see this piece of paper right here? <laughs> you couldn't have heard a television or a video. Oh my god, did his, like, skull, like, just separate from the rest of his body? What? Gah. I, well, irk. These are all possible, uh, um, 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 possible replies, I guess. The defense has a point. Yes. A four-year-old could have pointed that out. Do you have an explanation for this, Shawit? No, I, I find it quite puzzling myself, sweating. You know, like, if, if people really sweat that bad, wouldn't he need, like, a towel bucket? It's kind of gross. I don't like sweaty, I don't like being, uh, it's just gross. Makes me want to, makes me want to hurl, just a little bit. Dot, dot, dot. Ah, wait. I remember now. Mr. Charlotte? Is he crying? Is he just like, oh, I don't want to sit here anymore. <laughs> the court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. There you go, boys and girls. If you're a liar, people will question you. That, and you seem rather distraught and sweaty. I, I don't like that. It, it freaks me out. It's freaking me out. My apologies, Your Honor. Yeah, you're sorry, alright. It, er, uh, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Miss, Mr. Shawit. I wonder if I'm even saying his name right. You guys probably know. I don't know. Let's hear her testimony once more, please. Hearing the time, hearing the time. Okay, let's go. 
actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. Oh yeah, Jurassic. There was a table clock in the apartment. Wasn't there? I don't know. You're telling me. Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. But, okay. Technically, since it's a statue, the time that's on it is going to be, like, way small. Way, way small. So the only way that you could actually see the time is if you had really good sight or if you were more in the room than what you said you were. You saw a clock. I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. I wonder if I can get past this stupid, 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 stupid testimony if I just click on what I know is right. I don't really need to hear his whole entire testimony. <laughs> Do I? I hope not. Um, present. I don't really want to press him because I don't care. I guess pressing him would be important if I didn't get enough information out of him. Okay. Objects. Affiliation. Your Honor. That statement contradicts this evidence. I don't know how. Oh, look. I am utterly shocked. What is it that you're telling me? What is it? Let me be wide-eyed and stare at you. It does. I don't see anything contradictory. Oh. Huh. Really? Objection overruled. Okay. So, I guess we jumped the gun there. Try to think before you make accusation, Mr. Wright. Aw, oh, shut up! That's not fair! Whoops! That didn't go so well. No, it didn't. No, it did not. Actually, I didn't hear the time I saw it. Um, okay. There was a table clock in the apartment. wasn't there. Okay. Yeah. The murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. Well, let's press him with it. The murderer weapon? The murder weapon? Yes. The table clock that was used as a weapon. How do you know it was a table? Oh, there we go. How do you know that it was a, a table clock and not just a statue? Ah, uh, there you go. Got yourself caught in a lie. That's what, that's what I just said. Did you doze off in the middle of my testimony or something? Something's fishy here. Okay. That must have been what I saw. Now, find the contradiction. Shut up. Okay. Present. Pre present. And. <laughs> statue. Present. Present statue. Hopefully we got it right this time. This evidence clearly reveals the contradiction in that statement. Your Honor, I, I fail to see. How exactly are... What? <laughs> How exactly are that evidence and the statement just now related? They aren't, are they? I'm confused. <laughs> Not at all. Mr. Wright, please think the facts over 
before making an accusation. Oh, uh, what? 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 Okay. 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 <laughs> Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, anyway, that's it for this episode. Um, I'm done being a, a, a dunce. We will pick up and see if I can figure this out in the next episode. Bye, everybody. <laughs>